Hello folks, uh, it's Ron, your favorite drone reviewer, back here with another drone video on Ron Brown's YouTube channel here, but we cover drones, action cameras, even pocket cameras now. The Pocket 3 is out now, but just for old time sakes, we're recording this video with the uh, the DJI Pocket 2. We're using that, the, you know, the, the first wireless mic uh, generation here. They, it's a new mic out too, so let me get this put back up here but today uh we'll focus on pocket three in another video today we're going to focus on uh drones here now we dji you know has released a, a couple a lot of drones this year as a matter of fact uh, we got the um the mini the mini 2 sc earlier in the year we got the um the dji mavic 3 pro which brought the 3x tele um you know, uh, uh, to the line along with the 7X and the uh, the wide angle, the four thirds, the good lens on it. And, and the Mini 2 SC was just a uh, kind of a, you know, like the SE drones. It was just a uh, a budget price drone to replace like the, the Mini 2 line because the Mini 3 was the prominent drone then in the Mini in the Mini category and now the Mini 4 has surpassed it. But anyhow, so then so Mavic 3 Pro was you touched on. Then we kind of got a little bit of a surprise. Uh, Around J July, uh, beginning of August period, we saw the uh, the DJI Air 3, a drone people have been waiting for for a couple of years now. We hadn't seen anything since the um, you know the Air 2S in uh, I believe it was uh, 2021. Uh, uh, yeah, because we saw I guess the two the 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 Air 2 in 2020 and the Air 2S in 2021. So it had been a couple of years, and that came out, and that was uh, that was a great drone. In fact, I have it you know sitting right here at the table, and then that was followed quickly. <laughs> By the Mini 4 Pro, which uh, kind of surprised people. They a lot of people aren't ready for a new uh, uh, Mini, uh, you know, the Mini 4 uh, Mini Mini drone in that line or whatever. And uh, you know, they were all very good drones. Uh, you know, all kind of uh, I'm going to say success as far as being a good drone. DJI doesn't release sales figures, so we don't know, you know, which was the best seller, what was a, a big hit or whatever. But of of all those four drones that were released, and they also released again. Pocket 3 just just at today as I'm making this video, the Action 4 came out and they I think they probably released some other gimbal-y type things or whatever. But uh, for the drone, that's the big four this year. And of all those drones I just mentioned, my favorite release of the year was the DJI uh, Air 3. Uh, you know, it brought that uh, the 3X Tele you know, uh, along with a, uh, a one over one thirds wide angle lens. And both of them were um, you know they 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 look kind of look the same like the the colors were the same so you could really go back and forth between the apertures a little bit different the the wide angle had the 1.7 inch aperture and the uh the 3x tele is a 2.8 but outside that and, and on that front um uh, uh freewell just released some split nd filters so you could have um you know less um you could put a lesser one you know uh, uh, on the uh the 2.8 3 2.8 3x tele so could equal that out so it was nice going back and forth between the the two lenses and it kind of to me it made it a little bit easier than on the mavic series um i think the, the lenses matched it a little bit better as, as far as the stats and so on so i was very happy to see that but anyhow it was my favorite uh, my, my favorite drone release of the year um you know again what what was the was the air 3 for some of the reasons i described i mean it kind of hit the sweet spot between the uh, mavic 3 pro and the Mini 4 Pro, you know, as far as price, features, performance, and so on. In fact, this thing could do most of what the, uh, you know, the, the the Mavic 3 series can do. It doesn't have a 7x Tele, but it could do a lot of uh, a lot of the things that could do. And uh, even the Mini 4 could do a lot now too. But it had waypoints and uh, the cruise control, and even the AR return to home features been added to it lately. So it's a full feature drone. Um, and he, it didn't get the one sensor people wanted that that the Air 2S had, but uh, I think the at least the video quality off the one over one third, the little bit smaller sensor here. But we believe that's a stack sensor. I don't think you can confirm that any place online through DJI's website. But it's a stack sensor, so that kind of helps it even. I think be almost uh, maybe even better in low light than the uh, the Air 2S was with the one sensor. And of course, this has a special night mode in it like the Mavic 3 series did. So that bumps the, uh, the ISO up and, and reduces noise. That helps a lot you know, for, for low light and nighttime uh, videography. So yeah, so this is so far, this is my drone of the year for uh, 2023. At least I, I think people get accused to you know, say that. Like, I don't, I'm not saying it's the greatest drone of all time. I'm just saying it's a, I think it's the best drone that was released this year. You know, uh, whenever we run these polls and stuff, they always, 
bring, they don't understand that. I mean, just drones from 2023, not, not drones in previous years. But anyhow, that, that's, that, that clarify that, that is my favorite. And I just had a couple accessories here that can make the, the, the drone a little bit better. This is the, the, uh, one of the hard cases from Start RC. I reviewed uh, several cases from them. I have a, a bigger version that holds more stuff and I have a smaller soft bag too. But this is one I find I use a lot. It, it hits a, like a real sweet spot here. You know, you can get your controller in and uh, you know, the, uh, the, the either controller or the, the battery hub and the drone and, and you know, other accessories, filters and so on the side. So it hits a sweet spot for me. So I really enjoy using this case. I like the clamps on it, you know, I like the handle, the size, you know, it's even got the uh, logo here, the drone on front, it's got the, uh, you know, the pressure release valve, really solid, well-made case. So I've got a couple other accessories here. This is the ND filter from Starter RC. This set, you get a, um, you get 816, 32, 64, um, and a polarizer. Do I have that? Do I, I, it's six filters in there, so let me count. I probably missed one. Eight, 16, 32, 64. Probably one. It's probably one I'm missing in here. Um, oh, so you to UV also. To yeah, eight, 16, 32, 64 UV and a polarizer filter in here. So you kind of get you know a lot of stuff you need. Now, if you're going to do you know a, a, a hyperlapse or so, maybe you want to get a stronger like a 256 or something like that, or even up to a thousand, depending on how much you want to slow it down. But otherwise, it's a pretty complete set of filters. And uh, this is the uh, propeller strap from Start RC2. You do not get a propeller strap with the um, the Air 3. You do get one with the Mini 4 Pro, but you do not get one with the Air 3. So this one has a nice base on it. You know, on the, it sits on the bottom of the drone, holds the props down there. The, these little grooves here where the legs are, and then like a nice kind of uh, you know rubbery strap here to keep them secure on top. So I really like that. And here is a set of you know landing gear. These are very, uh, uh, you, these kind of a sled, I, I call them. You see this for many drones, but I've tested them on here. I've got another video in the channel. So I really like this because it raises the drone, uh, you know, a little bit off the surface when you have them on. Let me just, you know, put it on right here. Well, I'm doing some speaking here, but uh, yeah, I, I can really recommend this drone, I, I think, to a lot of people. A lot of people need a smaller 250 gram drone uh, for legal purposes. They don't want to register and all that, or even uh, they want to avoid the whole remote ID scheme. But if, if, if that's not your, you know, if that's not your main goal or your main, the top priority, you know, I would kind of recommend this. You would, you do have to register. You have to make sure, I mean, it's got remote ID built in, so that's not a big deal. So you want to, you want to put this part up here with that uh, little loop, loop, de loop, de loop up there, put that up there, catch that in the front and then snap it on the back here. So it goes on very easy. It's on very securely oh, and there just in case, right? But no, it, and it, it, it has holes cut in for all your sensors on the bottom. So I've tested it before. It works great. And uh, I'm down, you can see I'm down here at the beach. So it keeps you away from that sand and you know, rocks and everything you can get uh, messed up down at the beach here. So, you know, um, that's kind of a few things I want to show. I just want to, you know, people always, you know, ask what's the best drone and so on. So, again, for me, this is the best drone for the money in 2023 so far. We still got two months left of the, out of the year. Who knows? Maybe we'll see something else from DJI. I think they've kind of updated almost all, all the lines here. So, who knows? But, uh, yeah, so far, this is the one that... Uh, I'm flying the most and getting the, the most use out of. So, okay, let's uh, you know, let's end this video and let's go let's go take a nice flight. It's almost sunset here. I got some clouds. Maybe I can catch some good footage. And who doesn't want to catch a good footage? And uh, believe me, this thing catches some nice footage. So, okay, we'll see you back on the next uh, video. Uh, and uh, you know, and 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 please uh, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, ring the bell so you'll know when I put more videos up like this and I'll drop links down below for all the stuff I just showed you here if you want to if you want to pick anything up uh, use my links I'm an Amazon affiliate seller you get a small commission for anything that's purchased through my links so again thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one folks